Now we will see some other features of NC Geometry module. This will be very helpful if you want to develop your geometry in NC Geometry module or you can modify your geometry. So first of all, if you go to file option, you have a couple of interesting things. One of the interesting thing is script. So you can write your own script in geometry if you work on a very long project or a very big project this script writing is very helpful here you have also auto save option you can save it automatically if you forget to save and something happens then it will be saved if you go to create you have some general operation like extrusion revolve sweep skin loft you can use all of these things let's do something like this so if you draw something let's say we want to draw a circle here and this generate and this extrude option will give you the extrusion simple and the revolve if you go and do a sketch let's say first of all you draw a circle here and generate you draw another sketch you draw a line or axis and if you go to generate and then create revolve so here it will ask you the base object or base object is our circle and our axis is this axis apply and if you generate it will generate the revolve option here you have the modify option if you want 180 degree revolution change it to 180 degree and generate it will change it to 180 degree if you want 45 degree revolve generate it will give you the flexibility of changing your geometry which is very useful if you try to draw your geometry in NC geometry module this is very helpful you have also these options sweep which is also like the revolve option if you are familiar with any kind of drawing software this revolve sweep thin surface is a very fundamental and general tools you can change the sharp edge you can chamfer it you can fix the sharp edge you can pattern it if you select the pattern option it will ask you the geometry which geometry you want so here you have the selection tool as you can see this one is if you want to select a point this one if you want to select an edge this one is if you want to select a surface or face and this one if you want to select a body so right now if you want to select a surface select this and choose your surface if you want to select a body select this and choose your body so right now we want to select the body so this one is selected apply so select this and apply direction which direction you want to pattern this body so now you have different direction so let's say in x direction say so this arrow will show you which direction you want so let's say this direction apply and how many body you want in your pattern let's say five and how far let's say 
three inch apart and then generate so now you have a revolve option and you have a pattern option when we develop heat exchanger problem this pattern option is really helpful to make the heat exchanger tubes you also have this concept menu here you can develop line bodies surface bodies if you have a sketch then from that sketch you can make it surface let's say you can so go to in your xy plane and create a surface a 2d sketch it's a rectangle and you want a surface so generate and go to concept this option surface from sketch so select this and it will ask you the base object our base object is our sketch apply and generate so this is your surface if you want to change the thickness of the surface let's say our thickness is one inch it will also change the thickness of your surface so these are the basic tools which is very helpful one of the most important tool here is this primitive option in this option you have some common geometry that you can draw easily let's say we want to draw a sphere so click this sphere and it will ask you the dimensions of the sphere like the radius of the sphere and the center of the sphere right now the center of the sphere is the center of the origin and the radius is 12 inch so this is the default so generate this is the sphere if you want to change the geometry the radius let's say 20 inch so now it's 20 inch sphere let's say if you want a rectangle at the center go to primitive and go to box and here you have the center of the box and here you have the dimension of the box so all side is 12 inch so generate right now this is the default box so let's say you want flow over a sphere so first of all we will create a sphere so sphere which has let's say 5 inch in radius so 10 inch in diameter so create so this is the sphere and we want to create a domain a fluid domain so go to create primitive box so here is the box so you can see the domain is really small we can change the length here you can change it so as you can see the direction in x direction is 12 inch y direction also 12 inch and z direction is 12 inch so first of all change it to 50 in z direction and you can change the x direction also let's say it's 20 and in x direction also 20 so now you can see our box right now is the center of the box is not at the center of the sphere so we can change it easily from here this is the center of the box right now is at the corner so we can change it so in x direction we use it 10 y direction 10 and z direction 25 and generate so it's changing into different direction so you can change it to minus minus generate before you generate you change it to add frozen and generate now you can see where is your domain so you can reposition your domain 
by changing also the Z generate right now it's in the center so by this process you can play with these options and you can generate again and again if you have any confusion so these are the flexibilities in NSYS geometry module but if you export your external geometry from other software you can't change this kind of changes so this is a very good and flexible options in NSYS geometry module in tool option you have also very different kinds of modification like if you want to split a face you can split the face if you want symmetric geometry you can change it to symmetric geometry with this symmetry if you have a hole in your geometry but you don't want to you can change it to fill option you can project in a plane you can repair your geometry by this repair option in analysis tool you can measure the distance from one point to another you can select the boundary box you can calculate the mass of your geometry if you have any fault or any overlapping surface in your geometry you can change it with this fault option so you can do a lot of things in this geometry module if you go to option you have these options you can change it also you can change the graphics you can change the toolbars what type of tool you want to see in your graphics window what type of tool you don't want to see you can change the unit system if you want grids in your graphics window you can also change it to grids so these are all of the options you can change it and play with your geometry module so that's all for our introduction to NSYS geometry module from the next tutorial we will learn how to mesh a geometry and from there we will see some simple simulation in ANSYS Fluent. Thank you.